If you've ever wondered what ladybugs eat and why you should have them in the garden, stay tuned. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. What have you got there? A ladybug. What are you going to do with them? Um, put them on the fence. Okay. That sounds like a plan. It's nighttime now. We're gonna let these out uh, so they won't fly uh, so they won't fly away, and hopefully they find some nice stuff to eat. Ladybugs are one of the best beneficial insects out there. They um, will eat lots of bugs that you don't want in your garden, like aphids or spider mites, and um, they won't go after your plants. And so uh, that's why they're great to have around in the garden. Starting with some close-ups of ladybugs, or ladybirds as they're also known as, you can see the red to red-orange color and iconic spots ladybugs typically have. Here you can see that the colorful part of the ladybug is actually its wings as they flutter in this video. You may hear ladybugs called a gardener's best friend, and that's because ladybugs love to eat plant-eating insects. When you look underneath your leaves, what might appear to be just colored spots are actually eggs, or the hatch tiny insects themselves. While aphids may be a gardener's worst enemy, other pests such as mites, mealybugs, scale insects, and whiteflies can also overtake crops. Luckily, ladybugs are voracious eaters and can eat up to 50 aphids per day. All right, we got our deputies. Caleb, say hi. Hi. We got our other deputy, Dahlia. Hello. And they're helping release the ladybugs in our organic garden. Let me share some tips to help you successfully release your ladybugs into your garden. If this is your first time viewing our channel, we provide gardening tips and information to help you have a more successful growing season. If that interests you, definitely consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so you'll be informed of when new content releases. First, release your ladybugs at night if possible, uh, or evening, as ladybugs tend to not fly at night. Ideally, uh, when the ladybugs are released, uh, they'll love the environment you're placing uh, them in and, and will stay. So to provide the environment ladybugs prefer, water your garden prior to releasing the ladybugs and place them where you see the largest number of soft-bodied insects they love to eat, such as aphids. If you don't see the pests directly, look underneath um, the leaves for their eggs or other markings. Don't use pesticide directly before and soon after you intend on introducing ladybugs into your garden. Pesticides kill ladybugs in the same way they kill other pests. Even organic pest control methods, such as diatomaceous earth, should be avoided, as the sharp edges um, of diatomaceous earth will irritate the ladybug's exoskeleton system as an anthropod. Uh, for a closer look at organic pest control for your garden, click the card above. Within a few days after release, uh, ladybugs uh, who are staying in your garden will have uh, begin laying eggs in little clusters. Hey, this is family programming here. Sorry about that. Once hatched, the larvae will appear like little alligators with spots. Larvae hatch very hungry and will eat many pests as well. In about two weeks, they will become adults. If you have questions about ladybugs, please leave them in the comments below and we will answer them in future videos. You'll see the next card in the Ladybug series posted above. Take care.